Afternoon ladies and welcome back once again to the Midlife Conversation with myself Teresa, myself Karen and we've got a special guest today, Louise. Hello. Akalulu. Yeah, Akalulu, Lou Brush. Not Akadu, do, do. <laughs> Sorry. Louise is, or Lulu Ginge as we call her at home actually, is my younger sister. Well that's to her face. <laughs> <laughs> Um, Sorry. She goes by many names, but obviously we're on camera, so I must be polite. But there's no sibling rivalry there at all. What did you insinuate? None. Louise is, or has been, part of our little Pons Challenge that we spoke about about a month ago, um, that Karen and Louise were going to undertake. So tell us about it. So four weeks ago, we set ourselves a little challenge, and I was going to be trying the Pons mm -hmm. Nourishing Anti-Wrinkle Cream for Dry Skin, um, which I do suffer from. And I found this really lovely. I found the texture of the cream it was lovely going over my face. It absorbed really well. Was it light? Really light. Was it light? <laughs> yes, it was. It was very <laughs> light. I was very polite. It was really, I can't be polite. I know. Try. It was very light and it went glided over my face beautifully. <laughs> Wonderful. And it left um, a real kind of like glow to my face mm. afterwards. Not mm. so I looked like a beacon. <laughs> But a nice healthy glow, and four weeks later, this is what my skin looks like. So, what do you think? Well, I have to say, I did say to you when you came in earlier on that her skin does look definitely more hydrated and smooth. Doesn't look dry at all. But what were you using to make the comparison? Okay, so what I was using before was the number seven repair and renewal selection of mm. creams and serums. Um, I used the day cream and night cream, and then the serum over the top. So I was using three product products. <laughs> sorry, I was doing a, Jonathan Wasp. <laughs> sorry, no offence, John. Uh, thumb. Um, so I was using three products a day. John and his thumb. <laughs> John and his thumb. <laughs> and I'm now just using one. And this is, oh my God, such a, a cheaper. Oh my God, I agree. <laughs> no, but it's a lot cheaper than the selection of boots number seven. Um, Sounded like she got that out of um, Anne Summers. <laughs> Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> you are. Oh, it's so good. <laughs> oh, it's so good. It's so <laughs> nourishing. Yeah. Anyway, so that's what I was using before, and and I think if I'm being honest, I'm going to stick to this. If you think it's worth it, but do it does feel nicer. A question: Will you use that but continue wearing the serum over the top of I it? I could do because I've got yeah. some left over, so yeah. I want to use it, and I might double benefit. That, from, that would probably work better with another cream anyway. Yeah, possibly. Mm. But I'm going to give it a go and I'm going to still continue mm. continue mm. to use this. So I'm really pleased. I must admit, she does look fresh-faced. <laughs> she does look fish-faced. <laughs> she looks fresh-faced. Or slap-faced. <laughs> Not yet. <laughs> so Lou has been using the Triple Action Pons Cream um, for anti-aging and firming and also for um, age spots. So... How's it? How's he got on? Really good. <laughs> They've all gone. <laughs> Brilliant. I've really enjoyed using this. What? Enjoyed? Like, enjoyed. Oh! Well, because I had dry skin on my forehead from the um, essential <laughs> eating. <laughs> That's not dry skin. I've been using it morning and night, mm. and it's been really good. Very. Um, it's like a refined hydrate. Yeah. yeah. But when you put it on, you don't think, oh God, this is going to take ages mm. before it's absorbed and mm. then you've got to put your foundation on mm. and dab it. It's been really yeah. good. Mm. I can put my mm. foundation straight on after yeah. this and it goes on really yeah. nicely. Nice. So, moving on from the Pons Challenge that Karen and Louise undertook. Which we loved and will probably continue, well I will continue. No, I will too, yeah, for sure. We are going to discuss um, the Casey Ultimate Facial. Um, some like to call it the Non-Surgical Facelift which is really on trend with a lot of the stars out there, although myself and Louise have been yeah. having it in excess of 10 years. Myself, I think it's got to be about 14, 15 years. I've been about 13 years. But Karen, I'm a virgin. Well, she's, she's not. <laughs> okay, I'm not. But she, I'm a Casey she, virgin. She, she, was, she was a Casey virgin. I was, and I experienced my first Casey non-surgical face. Did you like it? It wasn't the experience mm. that I thought it was going to be, yeah. if I'm being honest. I went into the room that was quite dark and the background music was beautiful and really relaxing. Mm. I laid down and it was a nice hot bed and she put some pads over my eyes and then it started. 
the pain. Well, no, it's not painful. It's not painful. It's just a little discomfort. Yes. Yeah. But I remember the first time I was having mine, Teresa said to me, Lou, don't think it's going to be some kind of, you know, facial where you can relax. They really do put your face to the, to the test. Well, they use prongs. They're like a metal prong that they They've use. Got electrical current. Yeah, in, they? it's a really small electrical current. I'm mean, <laughs> like you've been resuscitated. High voltage. Yeah. <laughs> or stunned. <laughs> a taser gun. Yeah. How <laughs> <laughs> <And> that work? <laughs> <laughs> and what they do is they they follow the contour of the muscles in your face, and you can ask them to concentrate on particular areas that you might find are your problem areas. I mean, being a woman of fifty one. My jawline is the thing that I like to have, uh, you know, rather than spending loads of time on my forehead, I like her to work on actually on my face and my neck mm. because you don't actually have any muscles under here on your neck and I don't want that part to drop. Oh. I can't afford a facelift. <laughs> but that's where the gaffer tape comes in. I've told you, you put it behind. Oh, she's she <laughs> With gaffer, yeah, and because I've got long hair, I could probably get away with it. Yeah, for yeah, I do. Mind you, you'd be like waxing when you take it off at night. <laughs> <laughs> then I develop the hairy back. No, we're, we're strained. So back yeah. onto Kate. Yeah, I would highly recommend this kind of facial if um, you feel that your, your face is looking a little bit tired, and mm. that, you know things are stuck. Gravity is taking a hold. And listen, girls, without surgical procedures, none of us can avoid the um, passage of time, what it does to one's jawline apart, and face. But apart from the lifting, it also gives the skin a hydrated look, mm -hmm. so it also cures the upper epidermis of your skin contour, so your skin um, does benefit from yeah, it as well. Yeah. The, the electrical pulses that go through into the muscle stimulate the muscle to um, plump out the collagen um, which is what is the scaffolding that we, we really need. Right. Um, absolutely. Absolutely brilliant. And then the rollers that, that not you put in your hair, the rollers that they put around the chin, they're really yeah, cold. The yes, yeah. really cold. Yeah. Don't yeah. know what that's for, but it works. It's like up and down. Yeah. Yeah. I think yeah. what's cold is, is also when the gels... Yeah. They put it's to gel. absorb, that's yeah. it. It's to absorb they put the, the gel, gel. gel. But once you get past the rollers and the prongs, the collagen face mask that it is to die for. Yeah, it that is my favourite. How often do you have yours? Once a month. Yeah, yeah. once yeah. a month. And they do recommend that if you want the proper results for that, um, you shouldn't exceed five or six weeks. So the longest I will go without having one of those is five weeks. Right. They well, they range between sixty-five and seventy-five. There are a few Casey facials. But the one we actually have is called the Casey Ultimate, and that's the non-surgical facelift where they actually they stimulate your muscles. Yeah. You've got the one where you, I think they don't have the collagen face mask and they don't do all the lifting, mm. but they do the exfoliation and stuff. There are little things that I will treat myself to, and, and my Casey well, Ultimate it, is yeah. my thing. It's my thing. It's my thing. You shall try it. It is. <laughs> Yeah, I've often said Facial. to you and I, you have. Yeah. Teresa's come over to my house and, like, and I've gone, you've had a case it. Yeah. Really? And I said, I've been Casey. Yeah. You've been Casey. Yeah. But I yeah. can always tell when you've had one, but yeah. it's really the results will mm. start to show mm. after three days. Yeah. The one, the case it. Well, one thing that I've discovered only quite recently actually is there is a part of the case where they use a comb and it's like a little blue light and it goes over the, the whole area. area. It's called the wrinkle comb. But what Jess told me you can have done is she does it on around my lips. Ooh, so sure if you you're going it. out so you and you want like your mouth to look a little bit fuller, <laughs> plumped up. Yeah, what did you say? You don't look like you've got a little cap on. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. I like that. I do. <laughs> yeah. Um, but you have to put the cream on. Oh. You've got to doubt, put the cream that would because hurt. you wouldn't that be would. able to handle mm. the pain mm. of that. And it only no lasts... pain, ladies, yeah. no gain. But that, that comb thing around the mouth, that only lasts, I think, a maximum of something like 48 hours. So the last time I had a, a company do, I had it done, and I was kind of like that, really. <laughs> <laughs> and then the next day, so you were like, I'm that, that. <laughs> <laughs> But no, 
highly recommend it and I'm so glad that Karen's given it a go now because I've been I've been waxing lyrical about it for flipping too long. She so, has, yeah. yeah. So you're gonna, yeah, you're gonna have gonna you booked up. your next one? Uh, <laughs> not yet. Yeah. Got to save me penny. I've all donations broke to Lucy. Yeah. <laughs> just had a pay cut. So thank you so much once oh, again for you. enjoying our uh, well I don't know if you've <laughs> enjoyed it, but joining us I suppose is what I should say. And thanks for having me, Pete. She won't be back. <laughs> if, it's, it's been a if pleasure. Karen's got anything to do with it. <laughs> Yeah, because she plucked my eyebrows <laughs> and I had nothing left. Yeah. She when got, I was about 12. Yeah. yeah. Eight, nine. Was, she was younger than 12. Yeah, she was. I was sitting in the armchair. Probably about nine. And she was plucking away. I just thought she was getting the ones underneath. <laughs> and it felt really nice. And when I looked in the mirror, it was not nice. Yeah. I had to go home and use my mum's eyebrow pencil. <laughs> Karen thought we was in a brow booth. But she wasn't. She was with a 10-year-old ginger <laughs> baby for a pair of tweezers. <laughs> She's probably going. <laughs> <laughs> but listen, girls, really been lovely chatting away to you and yeah. uh, wait for the next instalment. Until then, bye, bye. ladies. Bye. So, bye. <laughs> bye. Oh, did you think?